Dennis, midway through the NBAA 2013 convention, we stopped by. There are very few names as enduring and endearing as David Clark. Everything from spacesuits to headsets. And I've certainly got more experience with your headsets than your spacesuits, so fill me in on the latest. Yeah, the latest introduction that we came out with, uh, we introduced it actually in Oshkosh, is our model DC Pro X active noise canceling headset. It's our lightest weight headset weighing in at seven and a half ounces. Um, the active noise reduction is a hybrid type technology. It operates off of two AA batteries. It has auto shut off on the battery pack, stereo mono switch, individual volume controls on the battery pack. Pilots have always been after lighter weight, more comfortable headsets. And we decided to come up with something with a clean slate of white paper redesigned the headset itself and with the development of our new technology for active noise reduction we came out with a very lightweight and comfortable headset that pilots have been asking for. Imagine in corporate where a guy's sitting in an airplane for the better part of a day this looks like it's going to be a real lifesaver. It's very comfortable as I said plus the introduction of the Bluetooth technology it's Bluetooth compatible which is a wireless Bluetooth technology for a cell phone or music input or any Bluetooth device. The price of the headset is $637, whether you buy it from a dealer or direct from us on our website. Well, at this point, with David Clark having been in the industry for, I mean, how many decades old is uh, David Clark now? Well, the company was founded in 1935. We actually started making aviation headsets in 1975, so we've been around for about three decades plus. I got to ask, and maybe it's a secret, but what's next for David Clark? With this version of our headset, we're working on right now developing a panel mount module to be powered off the aircraft so you don't have to utilize the batteries. That should be available probably mid to late November. And then we'll see what happens from there. Probably evolve into maybe either helicopter or into the military with it. Dennis, we appreciate your time. Hope you have a great rest of the convention and thanks so much. Thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Com. Rebuilding the sport aviation world one aviator at a time. That's ANN's new Aerosports ebook series, your resource guide to the ultimate in aviation adventures. Aerosport will feature the straight skinny on learning and enjoying 16 unique aviation sports, from ultralights and ballooning to aerobatics, gyroplanes and hang gliders to parachuting, home builds and general aviation to RC models. All this and more will be coming soon with the new updatable Aerosport guide for your favorite electronic devices. Get your advance order in now at www.aerosport.com aero-sport.net.